Welcome back gamers. So I know my last video was a little bit sad and bitter and didn't leave on a great note. I don't like to be, you know, depressing the videos, but honestly, after a pretty quick response from Gun um, and the announcement we got just a few days ago, I'm, I'm all the way back in. My face has been fully restored. We're on the hype train again. Uh, all is looking good, um, you know, despite the horrible, horrible, horrible August 15th update. Um, Gun was pretty quick to get the hot fix out. We got it on the 20th, um, and while it didn't fix all the bugs, it did at least fix the lobbies and the major issues that made the game unplayable, so it got into a much better state. Uh, not only that, but they, they hit us with another week of double XP. Can't beat that. Um, <laughs> never gonna turn down some double XP, and you know, while it would have been nice if they could have gotten the patch out on Friday or Saturday. I still think the turnaround to get it out on Tuesday is pretty quick. Um, you know, Wes even mentioned that the, the team worked hard over the weekend and they were able to make it happen. So I'm very, very, very thankful for that. Um, so yeah, well, now double XP is gone and uh, that leaves the big question. What's next? Where where are we? We got the announcement, you know, that uh, we're not getting updates uh, bi-weekly anymore. They're coming out uh, once a month, and personally, I think that's totally fine that it's going to be the same. You know, we get two really small updates in a month. Why not just make it one um, big update where we get a lot of new things, and, you know, hopefully that gives the team more time to kind of smooth things out and, uh, you know, make it a cleaner, a cleaner update. So I, I think that's a good thing, truly. But yeah, and it's weird. So, you know, we're at the end of double XP. Sunday night was around. I was talking to Dingus and we're like, man, when do you think the next time we're going to hear from, from Gun will be? When when are we going to get, you know, some more info or, or something, anything? And uh, we were like, I, I honestly, I said, I would love to hear a little bit of something, anything early this week. And, you know, we talked about it more and, and ultimately decided like, eh, probably not. Well, we were wrong because, man, they hit us Monday with that banger notification and holy moly, uh, I, I'm just pumped. We got the, the Rush Week teaser and it looks so good. So let's give it a very quick watch and then we'll talk about it more. So yeah, after uh, getting the new trailer, um, you know, I, uh, not to toot my own horn, it looks like my prediction was pretty pretty accurate. Uh, you know, just a couple of weeks ago when we made the the video about Rush Week, um, it, it looks like it certainly is going to be fraternity slash sorority themed. And based on this video teaser here, it's probably sorority themed. Um, I guess we'll find out more later eventually. Um, it's also crazy to me how how accurate we were with with you know a few other predictions. We said it'd probably be an original storyline. Boom, that's confirmed. We said there'd probably be different tasks or challenges. You know, kind of like how you know members rushing have to do different things. Looks like maybe we have our first chance for that. Maybe you know if maybe some new ways to escape. Maybe some new ways of you know fighting back with the family. Uh, we'll see. I think that uh, there's a lot of opportunities here for that. Uh, we predicted some new cosmetics that were maybe fraternity or sorority themed. You know, you got sorority letters. That are, it's, it's a big thing. And, you know, it, it still fits the vibe of the 70s and 80s. And sure enough, um, here we are. We have a confirmation from Jet literally the day of the trailer that says, um, while the events of this new mode don't take place in the 80s, they are certainly after the events of tcm so you know maybe late 70s we're, we're kind of we're kind of getting there i'm not, we're not really sure you know if it's after the events of the game or the movie it's still unclear but uh you know hopefully we'll learn some more soon all i know honestly is that the trailer uh <laughs> the trailer music is fantastic it's designed once again by ross trigenza uh who does great work on the game thus far um, and other projects he's been involved in and it just has me hype. We're getting into some some 80s themes some some cool music We're kind of reaching to that TCM 2 era. It's just we're in a great spot for the game um, But yeah, you know Wes Wes said it a couple weeks ago It's it's gonna be a new map a new mode and a new era for TCM and uh, this this teaser trailer seems to show just that so let's break it down just a little bit um, The first thing that really stood out to me honestly was the pumpkins um, my goodness 
there was a huge missed opportunity for this game just a year ago where there was nothing for Halloween, no Halloween event, no nothing. Um, you know, get, the simplest thing we could have gotten was a couple pumpkins on, you know, Family House or something. We didn't get that. Um, so I'm very happy to see some pumpkins on this map. I think it's super cool. Uh, I love Halloween, so, you know, I, I'm a slut for anything pumpkins. But, <laughs> uh, you know, we're seeing some decorations. And that kind of leads me to think that maybe Rush Week's going to come out probably around Halloween for the full release. And maybe the content pass owners will get it uh, earlier, maybe early October. I guess we'll see. Um, if it's sooner than that, you know, count me in. Not going to complain if it's the, you know, if we get the, the pre-release before then you know maybe we'll get into september who knows um hopefully you know we don't have a huge gap between the content pass people and then the, the full release for everyone i hope they keep that maybe like a week or a couple days we'll see um but yeah i mean we're just a few days away from september which is kind of crazy to think about um and that's when the content pass is supposed to start so i guess we'll see hopefully we get some more information soon um, you know, for reference, we got the Hans and Maria trailer on the 7th of June, and they came to the game on the 11th. I don't think this necessarily means, you know, having the trailer or the teaser trailer on Monday. I don't think that means, you know, the mode's coming on Thursday this week. I guess maybe next week. I don't necessarily think it means that either. Um, I, I expect we'll get probably some more information before um, everything's coming out. So. Um, safe to soon. It's it might be coming sooner than we think. I don't think it's gonna be you know a January release date by any means. So we'll see. But it, it truly, if if it has to get pushed back and it comes out later, I don't care. Uh, you know, take your time. Let's uh let's get this patch nice and stable and looking good. Uh, we don't we don't want any more uh, crazy buggy updates. So yeah, back to the trailer. Uh, the next really big thing that stood out, which I think most people are hyped for, is the freaking jacket that Johnny is wearing. We got the old tunnel stakes, tunnel snakes rule vibe going on. Um, you know, I, I really hope this means this cosmetic will be coming to the regular game mode as well. I, I'm sure it will. Um, it's probably going to be, you know, a cosmetic that's obviously themed to the content pass, and uh, we'll we'll see. I guess where that goes from there. But um, yeah, other things we learned. You know, it's going to be focused on Johnny we get the the caption for the announcement saying an exciting new 1v6 multiplayer game that focuses on Johnny and a whole new way to experience the Texas Chainsaw Massacre so yeah I mean one sentence we get a ton of information um, it's multiplayer it's not going to be single player uh, I don't think anyone expected it to be 1v6 which is also crazy um, and it's focused on Johnny which I don't think really probably anyone expected either but it's cool I, I think it's very exciting all around um, the other thing to consider is, is this the first taste of maybe that Johnny rework that's potentially coming? You know, they, they were talking about it for a while in the Muerto Times and it kind of didn't seem to go anywhere. Um, maybe it'll be a thing, maybe not. Personally, I, I do like Johnny how he is now. I hope if they adjust him, it's it's nothing crazy. I do think he is fun to play. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see if, you know, if they've tweaked him for this new mode. Time will tell. You know, 1v6, I, that's, I, I didn't expect that at all. I, I think that's going to be cool. It has a lot of opportunity. You know, we, we're getting a new map specially designed for it. Um, might be primarily indoors. We'll see. It looks like, you know, there might be a courtyard area. Who knows? Well, time will tell. But um, it also looks like, you know, we, we have the Omega Sigma Theta house, which I don't think is real. I looked it up. I didn't find anything. Um, so based on, you know, the characters walking in, I'm going to guess sorority, you know, we see two female characters going in, uh, maybe June, who's Sonny's girlfriend, maybe the other one is Connie's girlfriend, who knows, um, hopefully we get some more info soon, and, uh, maybe it's, it's neither, maybe it's, it's going to be brand new characters who aren't in the game. It's really hard to tell, you know, even if you look in the windows on each side, you see some people dancing, the right one to me kind of looks like Sonny and someone undressed, so maybe like the Anna cosmetic. I don't know if it's brand new people who cares if they have abilities i don't know i'm just excited to learn more <laughs> um but yeah the next the, kind of the next big running theory i've seen a lot of people talk about is you know because it's 1v6 maybe this is sort of an homage to the f13 game you know that's finally shutting down at the end of this year and you know maybe this is kind of their way of building a substitute game mode to kind of give us that vibe i don't think you'll ever match you know the glory days of f13 but um another mode that plays similar i think you know a lot of people i think would be happy with and while you know overall i think sentiment might be fun for something like that it's probably just 
how the design worked best. You know, I, I don't I don't know how the game's gonna play. I'm really really curious how the you know the quite the escapes or the survival methods are going to be. Other people are mentioning that uh, maybe it'll be a lobby of seven people and a random person is Johnny. I don't know how to feel about that. You know, I, I could see it happening where they go that route, but that's a whole new system with preferences, which currently isn't in the game. You know, really quick play would be the only thing that could have preference options. So I, I, it just seems like that maybe that's an extra step to take that they they probably wouldn't add. But who knows? Maybe I'll be wrong. Um, and also, I feel like most people kind of prefer to load into a game knowing who they're gonna play. Um, so that's that's why I don't really see this happening. You know, that's a complaint that people had with Killer Clowns right off the rip is, you know, there's no preferential system, yada, yada, yada. But we'll see. Uh, personally, I'd, I'd think it'd be cool if we get like a social deduction kind of game. Maybe it would happen. You know, if you don't know what that is, kind of like, um, you know, Town of Salem, Among Us, um, Trouble in Terrace Town, Spy Party um project winter those are the i think those are all the ones i've played there's there's a ton out there but they're they're kind of like that you know take your pick of the game um johnny kind of would fit well for it which is is sort of odd you know he's got he's got the dashing good looks he blends in kind of with you know a normal crowd of people he's got the scar but you know whatever um he's got you know he's got the hunt ability which you know perfect for figuring out maybe who's real who's fake i don't know probably unlikely but it's fun fun to think about um yeah i i don't know i'm just happy we're getting a new permanent game mode um you know the game is barely a year old and we're getting a new permanent game mode that's crazy you know not to throw shade but like dbd where are we at eight years old we're getting just now limited time modes for the first time it's uh it's crazy <laughs> but yeah um i don't know you might not like everything that's happening with tcm you might not like how this could affect the cues maybe it will maybe it won't um Overall, you know, I, I think the team obviously does care a lot for the IP and and they really do put a lot of care and, you know, appreciation for the accuracy of the IP, which is, I think you have to commend Gun a lot for that because it does look so good and it, everything is so accurate. Buggy updates are going to happen. You just kind of got to forgive and forget, as I like to say. So, um, yeah, I'm just happy really the game's, you know, in a, in a pretty good state right now. We're getting some new info. Things are looking good. Um, yeah, that's I guess that's about it. Uh, what do you all think about the reveal trailer? What do you think? Uh, 1v6 kind of crazy, right? I wasn't expecting the trailer on Monday and, you know, they they got it out to us. We'll see. I don't know. It's it's all looking promising to me. So um, let me know in the comments what you think about Rush Moon and what do you want to see? You know, do you, do you want to see social deduction? Do you want to see something else? Um, do you want to see Johnny going on a murder spree? Do you want to see people beating up Johnny? Who knows? Let me know. And uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day. Catch y'all in the next one.